That's two minutes extra. Camp is fun, and this camp, like many others, is no different. But everybody here will also tell you that being at this camp, with these people, has made a difference. Camp Ida literally has changed my life. The worst part is that it only happens, you know, seven to eight days a whole year. Favorite thing about camp is definitely seeing the people I love. Um, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, coming back to these people who care about me so much and that I know I can share anything with. If it wasn't for the friendships that I've made he here, I don't think I would be the person that I am right now. Right now, Neda is a recent high school graduate attending Camp Ayonde for her third time. Kamran will be a senior in high school this fall, and Ashkan is heading to college in Santa Barbara, California. Their experiences are shared by all at this camp. Camp Ayande, a non-political, non-religious camp, is run by the non-for-profit organization Iranian Alliances Across Borders. Its first camp was held in 2006. Many of the campers who attended those first few years have now returned as counselors and staff. Okay, so for the next activity... This year, 85 campers attended and were guided by 37 counselors and staff, affectionately called Richards. Throughout the week, the campers engage in a wide array of activities intended to build character and teach leadership. During one of those sessions, counselors gave campers advice on the difficult and stressful process of applying to college and also shared funny experiences about their demanding parents. We're just going to go. You're going to do 25 applications. But if you don't want to go to 10 of those schools, then don't waste your time, don't waste your application money. Camp Ayanda's main goal is to prepare these students to be leaders in their respective communities. But by camp's end, it has done a lot more than that. Propelling these students to a new world, Neda explains. You are in your own little world, an alternate universe, when you come to Camp Ayanda. All the things back home don't matter. It's who you are that one week that matters. Ashkan now sees that differences can bring you closer, not apart. Uh, you know, going through the camp exper experience, you learn that just because deep people are different from you doesn't mean that you can't, you know, get along with them. In fact, you get along better because you have more to share. So I feel that, you know, uh, you know differences in connection, and actually it's, it's kind of this oxymoron when you think about it in any other setting, because it's what separates people, but at camp it's what brings people together. Kamran is attending for the second time. My mom saw an ad for it in our local Iranian grocery store. And she told me about it, and I thought it was the dumbest idea I've ever, ever heard of. And uh, I came, I was unsure, but I loved it. And I keep coming back because it has taught me so much about, you know, leadership, Iranian community, how we have to, how the youth have to be worked together to try to make change and positive change in our, our uh, Iranian-American diaspora community. And while camp might last only seven days, most of the friendships that begin here never end. And I like visited my Ayanda friends in D.C. last summer and like I like having that network of Irani friends all over the U.S. and world. Camp Ayanda has an unexplainable magic, a blend of Persian and American culture. It shares common traits of laughter and friendship. Within this safe place, bonds are created and young campers discover themselves and each other. Life's lessons shared across cultures, no longer a divide. Arash Azizola, Voice of America, Northern California.